Welcome. Thank you all so much for coming. This is the second semester, 2017-2018 Nursing 3 pinning ceremony. We're so happy to see everybody and um, glad that you could all make it. I'm Mrs. Kelly. I'm one of the nursing instructors. This is Mrs. Leahy, the other nursing instructor. And to start us off, we're, we have a student that graduated last year, Elizabeth Galvin. She's a freshman at UMass Boston in their nursing program and she's some words of advice for the new graduates. So yeah, I'm a first year student at UMass Boston. I actually just finished it up. Um, so yeah, a year ago I was in your seats and I remember being all excited for it, but honestly, it's one of the most nerve wracking things going into a nursing home for the first time, not knowing a single person that you're about to take care of. And um, I have to say this too, it's not like clinical in any way, shape or form. Like you have the experience, but you go in and it's totally different. It's a totally different facility. It's a totally different environment with other people that you have to learn. You're going to have people who like you, who prefer you to take care of them. You're going to have people who can't stand you and wish that you drop off the face of the earth. <laughs> Swear to God, I was told that just the other night. Um, but all in the end, it's worth it just to see their smile or just to see that they're okay and they're happy and they're not, you know, sitting in what they think is normal. And um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I just want to open up to any questions that you guys might have for any future references or anything? Anything, seriously. <laughs> All right, well. I have a question, but I'm not a nursing student. Yes. All right, leaving high school, it's like being taught something mm -hmm. and actually getting to experience it in real life for the first time. I find that often you either forget everything that you were taught or you realize it's just a little bit different. Was mm -hmm. that something that you had to experience? Oh yeah, I mean, every facility has its own policy, as they've probably told you a thousand times. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought I knew everything going in, I thought I was a little know-it-all, and then I got in there and I was thrown to the wolves, literally. It was nothing like what I was taught. They were like, just do this, 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 and this, and this, and just forget about what you learned because you don't have the time to do all that stuff now. They are expecting you to take care of them, so you need to do what you need to do and get it done quickly. Um, so yeah, it's a lot different from high school. It's a lot different from your clinical environment. And I know you guys didn't have them. I had the privilege to have them with us for my clinical setting. But um, yeah, it's just, it's a lot different than what you experience in this class. But I have to give you guys props. You guys have seen a lot of things that other students will never be able to get to say that they've done. And uh, it's a real big honor to be able to say that you guys have done that. So congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Like to invite Dr. Murray, principal of Rockland High School, to come up and say a few words. Good morning. I should say good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> One thing is uh, for sure, you really are clocked. You start right at time. I, I was like a minute late. So I'm embarrassed. <laughs> um, I'm here representing several people today, not only myself and of course Rockland High, but also the superintendent and the deputy superintendent, as well as uh, Mr. Dupont. This is part. Um, I don't think there's anything more selfless or more important that you can do in life than uh, devote yourselves or at least to look into the idea of helping others, especially people who may be in some kind of need. And so I tip my hat to you for that, just to have that inside of you. And then the second part is I know that this was uh, demanding. You had a lot of time that you had to devote to this, and you had to do some work that a lot of other students haven't made that kind of commitment to. Um, and so that also kind of puts you in a, a more of an elite category, if you will, than some others. Uh, I, I've been invited to a number of uh, different activities that I haven't been able to attend. So the feeding one really sounded interesting to me, but uh, I didn't get there. But I, I know how much uh, time and energy you put into this. I also like and respect how proud you are of what you're doing. I think that's really important that you should be. And, uh, I think you know, this is a great indication of um, a wide range of opportunities that you'll be able to explore when you get out of this. So I wish you all the best. And uh, please don't hesitate to come back and let us know how you're doing and uh, how this preparation is maybe not necessarily for this particular field, but gotten you ready for whatever you choose to do, be a career, college, or The dedication, uh, 
and the attention to detail, those are all things that you're going to hold uh, dear to you regardless of what you choose to do. And you've demonstrated that, I think, clearly as you're doing here today. So congratulations on behalf of everybody, and uh, especially um, by myself, uh, job well done. Congratulations. I just want to reiterate Mrs. Kelly's um, introduction. Thank you so much for coming. I know that everybody has their own schedules and you've made in a, this, a very big priority, and it is. These students have worked so hard since, some of them since their freshman year, um, nursing one and nursing two and nursing three, and many of them, raise your hand if you've been working as interns for us too, and nursing one and nursing two. So you've done such a nice job and we're so proud of you. So this is exciting and this is just, just the beginning. Most of you, I think, raise your hand if you've been accepted to a nursing school next year. So congratulations. So you will move on and make more challenges for yourself and overcome them just like you did with us. So I think that we should begin our ceremony. Yeah. Begin our pinnings. So we're going to call each student up and give them their pin and their certificates, and then we'll stand if parents want to take a picture. We go alphabetically, so. <laughs> okay, uh, Melinda Barrows. <laughs> Thank you. 
because they were getting out early, and even earlier than usual seniors. We had snow days. Um, we had one of the clinical instructors had a death. We had to change and do a makeup. So we have, we have pushed them really hard. Um, they self-graded. They had mucho chapters to do. Um, they worked really hard, and Mrs. Leighton and I always apologized for <laughs> pushing them so hard, so but they all, the they all rallied um, in the end and did a really, really nice job. And, Home health aid test went really smooth and um, clinical was really smooth. We had two different clinical instructors this year um, who spoke very highly um, and really enjoyed having them. So um, we thank them for all their hard work and apologize again for what we, what we put you through. Um, and thank you for all the, all the work that you've done. And thank all the parents for all the support that you give the students because without you, they wouldn't be able to accomplish all the things that they accomplished. 